loving, kind Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, we come in your presence, for we are your children. Lord, we come to hear from you. We pray for a blessing upon this service. Come and speak to us. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Are you all happy? Yes. How has been your week? Your week has been so good and so great, I believe. What did you did you have some dreams last night? Did you dream? Eh? You dreamt. Do you know how to dream when you are sleeping and you dream? All for you when you are sleeping, you don't know what you dreamt. Well, I'm just happy to come and speak with you once again. Do you know me? I am called Teacher Alan. Teacher who? Alan. Now today, I'm just happy because I'm going to talk to you. Do you still love Jesus? Yes. If you love Jesus, I'm going to say hallelujah. You will say what? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are, you can clap for the Lord and shout hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Now, today, we are going to open our Bibles. Now, do you have your Bibles? We said that when they are reading the word of God, what do we do? We stand on our feet. Why do we stand on our feet? It is a sign of a respect to God. So now are you standing up? Yes, now we are going to open our Bibles in the book of 2 Thessalonians. Oh, I told you second. No, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. We are going to read verse 16. Are you ready? Yes? Okay, let's read. It reads, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Hallelujah. Have you understood it? It says that, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. Who? The Lord Jesus Christ shall descend himself from heaven with a shout. I want you to get those words. With a what? A shout. Uh, and with the voice of the archangel. Shout, archangel. And with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise fast. Amen. We as according to the word we have read, we have said it, the Lord himself shall descend with a what? With a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with a trump of God. There are three words. Today, I'm going to call my subject the rapture. The what? The rapture. How many have ever heard of the word rapture? Is your, is your hand up? You have never heard of the word rapture. Now, the rapture 
Do you know what the word rapture means? Some of you don't know because you didn't put up your hand. Even you, if you know now, we are going to explain it. Rapture is a sudden and sacred catching away of the church. It is a what? A sudden and sacred going away of the church. Now, do you know something which is sudden? Sudden is like, now they get this, say, this example. When you're sitting around the table, you're waiting for mommy, you're waiting for auntie to serve food. As you have, read, you have already washed your hands, you are clean, prepared, and hungry. When you're sitting around the table and a rat comes from the roof, oh, boom, it falls on the table. What happens? You run away. Eh? Yes, you run away. Now that is something that is sudden. Something that you didn't prepare for. Something that you didn't expect. Something that you didn't know that was going to happen. That is something that is sudden. And another thing that is sudden, like they are driving a car. You are going maybe to the village. Oh, you are not there. As they are driving, suddenly the car, boom, it falls down. That is something that is sudden. But now the rapture is a sudden and sacred. But when a car falls down, there is some noise. When a rat falls on the table from the ceiling, oh, boom, there is some noise. But for the rapture is sudden and sacred. That means if it happens, this one goes away. You will not know it. And catching away of the church. Catching away is going. That means this person will go and you will not know. So it is sudden. That means the Bible says that two will be in the field cultivating. In the field doing what? Digging. Do you, know, do you know how to dig? Have you ever seen somebody digging? Okay. We can show you how they dig. Yes, like that one. Digging with a hoe. Now he's in the garden digging. There are two. One is here and another one here. They are all busy doing what? Digging as you have seen. So when the time for the rapture comes, one will go to heaven. And one will remain digging. He will not see him or her going. So one will be left. And the Bible says two will be in the bed sleeping. Eh? You sleep, you are snoring. You know how to snore. Some of you snore when you are sleeping. You are ah, 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 ah. Eh? You do it. Okay. So two will be sleeping. Sister so and so will go and another one will stay. You will not know it because you will even pass in the house in the roof but there will be no hole. So that is a sudden and sacred going away of the church. So they will go away to heaven. Now the rapture do you know what you must do to go into the rapture? And do you know people who are going into the rapture? They are people who are prepared. Do you know how to prepare? As we have already said, read your Bibles and pray every day. So people who have received, they have repented their sins. They have been baptized in water. They have received their Holy Spirit. You have received the Holy Ghost. So those are people that will go. So the Bible has told us that the Lord himself, the Lord, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? Now this time, 
he will come himself from heaven and he will descend he will come down and when he comes down the bible told us that he will come with how many th- things three he said he will come with a shout do you know how to shout like you may hallelujah 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 that is a shout and with the voice of a nach angel have you ever heard of an arch angel an angel an arch angel there are angels and there is an arch angel an arch angel is the one who heads all other angels is the leader is the head so with a shout and a voice of an arch angel so that means the arch angel he will be speaking himself and you know an arch angel who heads them all arch angel he leads them all he is above all and with the trump of god do you know a trump do you know a trumpet have you ever heard of a trumpet now in the old testament in the bible the bible tells us that in israel when they wanted to do something when there was something they used to blow trumpets so they trumpet you don't know a trumpet so we can show you a trumpet yes that is a trumpet you see it yes that one and the trumpet makes some sound maybe for my men and utter it out the way it it is done i may not speak it out the way it is said but you, we can hear the sound of a trumpet we can you you hear Yes like that maybe like that now they would blow trumpets when they would blow trumpets all people would gather they would come to hear what has happened and even in the villages long time ago they used to blow trumpets like in the old days we never people there were no cars to dig roads so they would blow trumpets and people would come and you know a trumpet can its sound can go very far so when they would hear it they would gather and when they would gather with their hoes you know a ho yes with their pangas now we can yes like that is a ho and that is a panga and with slashers so many tools and they would come and measure and dig roads where people would pass so they would blow trumpets and everybody would come from home and come to do what to make a way to dig a road so now the trumpet that was the, that it was a trumpet now the trumpet when it was blown and for you stay on your work you would be you would get problems you would be penalized you would be blamed why are other people gathered there for you you are not doing it so you would have problems now that is what is going to happen a shout a voice of an arch angel and a trump of god so now a rapture it is going to be as you have heard it is going to be sudden and secret then going away of the church now for you you may stay but i don't want us to leave you i don't want us to do what to leave you and where will the church go not that the whole church that will go speckled bad when the bible talks of the church it talks of those people who have repented their sins some of you you say ah for me i'm still young i'm going to get saved when i grow old when the rapture comes and you are not saved you will stay here so you must repent all your sins if you have been stealing sugar 
Some of you still sugar. Eh? At home, you go in the sugar barrel, you pick a spoon of sugar, and you enjoy. So you are going to stay. Some of you don't share and give your friends. So you are also going to stay here. You are not going anywhere. So it is what? Sudden, secret, going out of the church. Where will they go? Where are we going? We are going to meet our Lord Jesus Christ in the air. In the what? The Bible has told us that the dead in Christ, do you know the dead in Christ? Those are people who died when they had repented their sins. They had received the Holy Spirit. They were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So those are the people, we, the dead in Christ, will first rise. Like the day, you remember the day when Jesus went at the grave of Lazarus? Do you remember? When Jesus reached there, he said, Lazarus, come forth. Now, when Lazarus came out, he came from the dead. And when they rise up and go, for you, you have not repented. You are not baptized. You are going to stay there. If you have died, you will stay in the grave. If you are not dead, you will stay here and we leave you. You will no longer see mommy. Mommy will go and leave you. You will no longer see daddy. Daddy will go and leave you. You will not anymore see your friends. They will leave you and go. And you stay here alone. Now what you have to do is to repent. And be baptized. You come in the baptistry. When you feel that now I'm ready. I have decided to follow Jesus. Then you receive the Holy Spirit. When the rapture comes, you also whoosh, go with them. All right. You see now what you are supposed to do? Make sure, prepare yourself. Pray every day that you will come and follow Jesus. Let us sing a song as we are going to close our service. Now we are going to sing after you pray to say, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Oh, no turning back. No turning back. Now we are going to pray. If you have decided Kneel down on your knees. You close your eyes. We pray together. Kind, loving, heavenly Father. Your children have heard your word. And they don't want to miss being in the rapture. They don't want to stay here alone. Lord Jesus, may you have mercy upon them. Give them the spirit of prayer and supplication. Lord, touch their hearts that they may know that you are the way and the life and the truth. That they may decide fully with their hearts. Touch and save them. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. We commit them into your hands. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Till we meet again next week. Shalom.